Welcome to Quickie Pal. Can I help you find? It's a padlock and chain keeping the gate closed. It's a locked gate. This would be too hard to ask you just to jump over that. Yeah, everybody wants in that pillow pack. Dolores, if you have anything to say, you say it to me. Peter doesn't want to talk to you. Have you called the stupid lawyer yet? I think we're done here. Don't let the door hit you on the way out. It's a can of poopsie. This clock looks vaguely familiar. Perfect. It's, it's a very strange looking tool. I'm sure it has a very important use near the end of the game. Oh, thank you. Thank you for telling me that. Yes! It's my father's watch! It's my father's old pocket watch. But it's broken. And only a professional will be able to fix it. I'm...
I'm innocent. If you didn't do it, a jury will find you not guilty. I heard you used to have a watch repair shop. Can you fix this watch? Why should I? Considering I'm only locked up because of you. I know you're innocent. Well, let me see it. Well, that's a strange looking watch. Ah, but sure, I can fix it. But do you think I can fix it with my teeth? Come back when you have some proper tools. Okay. I'm innocent! Can you... I've gotta go. Stay right here. Now get me out of here or get bent. It says, we're out at the old abandoned pillow factory. Back soon. Safely first savings manager, Mr. El Paulo. Hello, 198.7 FM KSCUM listeners. DJ Cassie here. We interrupt our hostile takeover of the airwaves with this important announcement. I have four free ThimbleCon 87 tickets to give away. First caller who can answer our trivia questions wins. And now, back to our regularly scheduled hostile takeover. The radio is turned on and tuned to 198.7 FM. Pizza! Pizza, pizza! What a free pizza coupon! Wink, wink. Is the pizza free or the coupon free? Ah, mm, I don't think I understand. What's up with this nutty town? Something odd is going on. You've noticed it too? No way! Have you heard the beeps and bleeps and buzzes? Do you know about the meeting? Meeting? What meeting? Who are you? Are you the cops? I'm a flooring inspector. You're a fed! Well, I can tell by the suit. Ah, oh, I just knew it! I know my rights. I need to see a warrant. This is an illegal arrest. Ah! It's out of order. The coin slot is filled with glue, the buttons are missing, and it's out of order. But how is it ringing? It's out of order. But how is it ringing?
It's the key card for my room. Shut up in there! Don't start that Batman argument again! None shall pass without showing me their ticket first. Oh, and welcome to ThimbleCon, of course. How can I get a ticket? The radio is doing a competition to win tickets. You could try your luck by calling up when they announce it. The radio is on and tuned to 198.7 FM. The radio is on and tuned to 198.7 FM. Hello, caller. You're live on KSCUM. Hello. Correctly answer two out of three questions to win four ThimbleCon 87 tickets. Your first question is... Fill in the blank. This is your brain. This is drugs. Blank. Oh, I'm sorry. That's not the right answer. Here's your second question. Who said, Mr. Gorbachev, tear down this wall? I know this one. <laughs> Mrs. Gorbachev. You got it right! And your final question. Who played Marty McFly in Back to the Future? You got it! Let's see how you did. You got two out of three. Close enough for a win. You win four ThimbleCon 87 tickets. You can pick them up at the Edmund Hotel front desk. What's your name? Uh, my name. Thank you, and congratulations. Now back to our regularly scheduled hostile takeover of the airwaves. Ransom, what are you doing here? There should be some ThimbleCon tickets in my nickname. Well, I do have tickets from the Case Gumaboo Trivia Contest. What nickname Abu are the tickets under? Ah, yes, here's that name Abu on the list. What are you still doing here, Abu? What's your problem? 
You! We're trying to make sure all our guests feel comfortable, Abu. With that mouth, Abu, of yours, you'll frighten away our few guests. Leave now. What are you still doing here, Abu? I'm going, I'm going already. Good riddance, Abu. We interrupt our hostile takeover non-stop music with this important message. Anyway... One ticket for ThimbleCon 87. Here, you're not carrying enough... I'm tired of carrying this... I don't want to carry this anymore. None shall pass without showing me their ticket first. Oh, and welcome to ThimbleCon, of course. Here's my ticket. Thank you. I'll take the tickets for your friends while you're here. Saves time so you can live long and proper. Ah, prosper. Do you need some cosplay advice? Oh, it's you. Beep off. Oh my gosh, it's the lawyer. I'm not cosplaying. Go away. I quit, so I don't need to deal with you anymore. Ready to face my adoring public and win this contest already. Thank you all for coming to witness the Ransom Lookalike Contest. We've got a great crowd here tonight. What is he, blind? Huh, stinks in here. Guess, well, it looks like we've got some great entries and some not so great entries. But I'll be the judge of that. That's right, I'll be judging the contestants as they try to make us laugh. First up, we have Corey. I have big hair. He does! Oh my! That's funny! Am I missing something here? I don't like hats. Is that the only fact you know about me? Who are you? Why do I bother? You're all poo-poo heads. Just like Winnie the Pooh, you're sweet as a honeypot. No. Way. You guys love that pillow factory. It's the lamest claim to fame a town has ever had. The pillow factory closed down ten years ago. Get off stage! You guys are obsessed with this Chuck guy. Seriously, I haven't seen brainwashing like this since the Manson family. Don't you know it's disrespectful to speak of the dead that way? Especially the faultless Chuck Edmund! <laughs> What's the deal with all these Tron machines? The Tron machines have saved our town countless times. There's no reason not to rely on them. Bunch of ingrates. Sounds like someone has to update their jokes. Now we have our final contestant, Cory. What a lovely crowd we have tonight. I can't wait to meet all you wonderful special snowflakes! This is so unbelievable! 
I hold you all ransom with my jokes. Clever. <laughs> ransom, ransom, so smart. Wasn't Chuck the best human? Don't you think? Yes, Anne. Where's the punchline? Punchline? What are you talking about? Mm, this won't take long to decide the winner. In first place is, obviously, Corey! Oh my! Thank you! Corey wins a licensing deal with Mega Mega Toy Company. I'm going to make a cute fuzzy dog! But you can just walk into any toy store and f buy that already! Second place is Corey! Of course it f well is! Totally f rigged! How can anyone compete with Corey? It's a pleasure to come second to his first! You've won a gift card for facial reconstruction surgery! How exciting! Just like my hero, Michael Jackson. Which leaves third and last place to... What was your name, anyway? It's Ransom, you idiot! Oh, your name is Ransom, too? That's an odd coincidence. Pity your act wasn't very convincing. Ugh. Ugh. So third place goes to the poorly named Ransom. You win an easy listening theremin record by Psykin. I don't want more junk. Congratulations to those who put some effort in. It's turned on. Now that's a improvement on that sign. Do you need some cosplay advice? Oh, hi Dolores. What brings you back to Thimbleweed Park? Are you an expert on cosplay as well? Just the legalities of cosplay. It's a fascinating intellectual property question. By cosplaying, you appear to represent the company, so their trademark... That's okay. I don't need to know the details. How else can I help you, Dolores? I need you to read Uncle Chuck's will. Chuck never paid me to read his will. My fee was $15,000, and I didn't see a cent of that money. I'm sure he must have paid you. It's not like Uncle Chuck to forget something like that. My apologies. I'll go to the Mansion Mansion right away. A new Coke vending machine. <laughs> Hi. Anything I can interest you in? I'm selling comics, D&D &D manuals, and original Star Trek spec scripts. I have a level 7 wizard. Doug's a good D&D DM. Okay. I love Star Trek. I want to live on the Enterprise. Okay. I've read all these comics. Okay. Goodbye. Pew! 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 I'm trying not to be convinced into buying any more figurines. I'm trying not to be convinced. It's a character from the upcoming adventure game called Robot Island. Starships in bottles. Handmade. How do you make the starship so small? I use the same tools as jewelry and watch repairers do. They allow me to carefully place each photon torpedo. Can I borrow your jewelry tools? Despite not having the requisite plus five dexterity to wield them, I might loan you the tools if you can get me some dinner. What do you want in exchange for your tools? Well, I'm really craving a hamburger. How about a hot dog? No, definitely not. 
a hamburger is what I need. Get me a hamburger and I'll see what I can do for you. How much do your starships cost? More than someone in your pay bracket can afford. But today we're doing a special deal. If you can answer me this one question, you will get a free starship in a bottle. What is the question I need to answer to get a free starship? Warning! You only have one chance to get this right. Which is the best science fiction show ever made? Star Wars, obviously. Uh, but it seems like a trek. Star Trek. Congratulations! You've won a replica of the starship Isabella. Bye. You will not find better starships in a bottle than these. The plaque says it's a tiny replica of the starship Isabella in a bottle. We interrupt our hostile takeover non-stop music with this important message. Strange signals are being transmitted by the government over the- Welcome back, Dolores. How's life being an important game developer? Eh, it's not too bad. Long hours, low pay, boss is a jerk. It's good to have you back. I just uh, wanted to say, I know your Uncle Chuck was kind of a dick. You talking about me? Shut up, Dave! Look, writing you out of the will was a dick move, but I'm sure he was still proud. I'd like to think so. He just wasn't himself those last few years. His obsession with restarting the pillow factory, long hours in his workshop and vanishing for days. Anyway. I'd like to order some food. Sure, everything's on the menu board. I'll have a hot dog. Good choice, honey. We're trying to move him out. Eat up, hun, while it's still hot. <coughs> this hot dog is even worse than the food in the mucus phlegm lunchroom. I, uh, gotta go. Ugh. I feel better now. Now the contest is over, there isn't anything going on in here. You know you're not welcome in here, Ransom. You can't legally refuse me service because I'm a clown. No, but I can refuse you service because you're a B-pole clown. Hi, Dave. Hey, Ransom. Shut up, Dave. Just order your food and get lost. I'll have one of those disgusting hot dogs. Knock yourself out with those hot dogs. We're trying to move them before... Well... I hope you choke on it. Nom, nom, nom. This tastes like crap! And I oughta know. I, uh... Gotta go! <laughs> <sighs> I feel better now. What can I do for you, honey? 
I'd like to order some food. Sure. Everything is on the menu board. What do you want? I'm ready for that hamburger. All right, honey. Now that you helped us move those hot dogs, you can have a hamburger. Dave, burn one, take it through the garden and pin a rose on it. Ready. Been saving one here in the grill pocket just in case. Here you go, hon. Shut up in there! Hoverboards will be mainstream by 20... Starships in bottles! Handmade! Would you like this hamburger? Thanks. That's exactly what I wanted. Mm. Mm. Delicious! Mm. <laughs> I... Uh, 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 I have to go to my room. I can't imagine why I would want to talk to him. Not sure what I'd talk to them about. Cutting edge computer technology. It's my father's old pocket watch, but it's broken, and only a professional will be able to fix it. Willie, here are the tools you wanted. Ah, oh, thanks. Nice tools. I'm innocent! Can you fix this watch? If you fix the watch, I promise I'll prove your innocence. Here's my watch for you to fix. Okay, hand it over. Okay, your watch is fixed. Here you go. It's my father's old pocket watch. Good as new. Better not. I might break it again. The elevator isn't on this floor. I can't believe I finally made it to the penthouse. Who's that now? What are you doing here? 
Um, you know, just looking about. I suppose I'll allow that as long as you don't annoy me. What's going on? Those runes are doing something to me. I can't, you know, float through the door. It's a speck of dust. Stay away from my crystal. Hey, new ghost, I told you not to bug me. Is there any way I can speak to my daughter again? Not a chance, new ghost. Only the crystal behind me will grant you the ability, and you'll never get it. Hypothetically, if I was to get the crystal, how would I use it? Well, you're not going to get it. But hypothetically, if you were to get it, and only hypothetically, because you will never get it. Yes, you know, only hypothetically. Okay, hypothetically, you would just take it into my secret room, and you'd be able to talk with the living. That's it. Can I please have the crystal so I can speak to Dolores one last time? Not a chance, new ghost. The crystal behind me has untold powers, and no one will ever get it. Bye, Xavier. Sorry for bothering you. Hi, Virgil. Hi, Franklin. Don't let Xavier see us talking and not working. Do you know how we can get out of the hotel? I know there's a way you can visit your dead relatives. If you have the spell book and offering left for the dead, that is. We all went to Chuck's funeral recently. Were there, you know, many people? For Chuck Edmund, of course there were. Everyone loves Chuck, you know, except me. I don't know how the spell worked exactly, but I know the secret room smelled really nice. See you soon, Virgil. Who's that now? This is unbelievable! An alive human in my penthouse! Cleta's in so much trouble next time I see her! It's a door, but with strange symbols on it. Great view. I can see everything from here.
Shut up in there! Han shot first! Show me that dragon man. Shut up in there! I was totally Stormtrooper number 43 in Empire Strikes Back! See the cemetery out there? Looks like Chuck got a tomb to fit his ego. Where's my sarcophagus? Why does Brother Chuck get one and I don't? Maybe it's because no one found my body. Diggin! I see we are all here now. Excellent. Before we can proceed with the reading of the will, Chuck Edmund has three stipulations. One, thimbleberry pie must be served to all present. Two, the reading of the will must take place in Chuck's opulent tomb. Three, crack the encryption on this will. Let me see that. Oh, it's all ones and zeros, Dolores. You figure it out. It is all ones and zeros. Clearly, it's in binary. Uncle Chuck was being clever. Maybe too clever. Get a thimbleberry pie. Mr. Balowick, here's the, uh, freshly baked thimbleberry pie. Two of Chuck's three stipulations are now fulfilled. We have a fresh thimbleberry pie, and the tomb is opened. You still need to decode his will, and then we'll meet inside Chuck's opulent tomb. This is all in binary. Should be easy to write a program to convert it to ASCII so I can read the will. Sounds perfectly easy. Yeah, let's do that. It's my state-of-the-art Commodore 64 with dual 1541 floppy drives and a blazingly fast 1200 baud modem. It's my state-of-the-art Commodore 64, with dual 1541. The Printron 3000 was Uncle Chuck's final invention before he died. It's graphic basic software from Hessware to supercharge my Commodore 64. My Commodore 64 is now supercharged with graphics basic.
It's my state-of-the-art Commodore 64 with dual 1541 floppy drives and a blazingly fast 1200 baud modem. Obviously I'm missing something there. It's a red gel decoder. It's a red gel decoder. I don't want to do that. It would make it look red. It's the math trophy I won when I was 12 and attending a summer program at t It's my handy ASCII chart. Never know when you'll need to decode binary messages, so I always practice every day. I'll need more than a chart to decode this, like maybe a powerful Commodore 64. That's what I've been trying to do. It's my handy ASCII chart. Never know when you'll need to decode binary messages, so I always practice every day. It's working. Whoever created Graphics Basic has a brilliant career ahead of them. I did it! It's totally decoded now. I'll give it back to Mr. Balowick. Here's the decoded will, Mr. Balowick. Let me see. You've done it, Dolores. All three of Chuck's stipulations are now fulfilled. I'll meet you all in the tomb. Part five. Now all three of Chuck Edmund's stipulations are fulfilled as we stand next to his remains. I will now read his will. I, Charles Edmund, being of sound mind and body, do hereby declare this, my last will and testament, Blah, 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 legalese here. Ah, yes. It is my will that the entire estate of all property and money be passed to... Yes? Yes? Madam, quiet, please. To the Amalgamated Holdings Corporation. What? And that all of Thimbleweed County be plowed under and a giant server farm be built in its place. You gotta be kidding. <laughs> what? Ooh! <laughs> Doug likes farms. The destruction of Thimbleweed County will begin two days after verifying this will and testament. In the meantime, Safely First Savings now has possession of the Pillow Factory and its key. Oh, and this last part in tiny print. Dolores gets a Pillowtron 3000 t-shirt. This is as much as you'll ever get from Pillowtronics. Lenore gets nothing. Franklin gets nothing. Doug gets my ceremonial zinc-plated shovel. Yippee! Well, good day. I'd better pack now. Here's your zinc-plated shovel, Doug. And your t-shirt, Dolores. Enjoy. Well, I never! Come along, Peter and Chucky! We're leaving! Something is very wrong here. I need to get into the factory and see if I can figure out what happened to Uncle Chuck. It's a Pillowtronics t-shirt with a tube on it. The only thing I got from Uncle Chuck. I feel like this was his final insult. It's Uncle Chuck's sarcophagus. Hope he's resting well. It's much too heavy to open. And I don't think I'd want to anyway.
I'm innocent. We got a confession. You're swinging, murder boy. How are you feeling, scumbag? How am I feeling? How am I feeling? I'm mad as hell, that's how I'm feeling. You agents locked me away when I did nothing wrong. Got to go, murder boy. Get bed. It's one of Morton UI's more toys prank jack-in-the-boxes. Crank the handle and it plays a jaunty little tune until the lid pops open and a live cobra jumps out. It was considered the gag gift of the season last year until the wrongful death suit started. No way am I going in there! She is a crazy a vengeful witch! It's a padlock and chain keeping the gate closed. It's a locked gate. The future used to be a wonderful thing. It's the E.T. game for the 2600. It says Philip's dangerous. It's a Pillowtronics t-shirt with a tube on it. The only thing I got from Uncle Ch Dolores. Oh, let's go over to the counter where we can talk. Welcome to Ricky's YouTube. How can I help you? Hi, Ricky. It's been a long time. 
What happened to your bakery? Oh, I had to pivot. People used to line up around the block for my muffins and pies, but over the past couple of years, business has really slowed down. I'm not complaining, though, because it's given me an opportunity to go in a whole new direction. And I can see how busy you are selling tubes. Oh, Dolores, you always had such a good sense of humor. This is evening. You should see how busy it is in the afternoon. Nice tubes. Uncle Chuck would have been pleased. Oh, yeah, your Uncle Chuck's my hero, and he loved my pies. I have to go now. See you soon. This is part of my inheritance. I'm not giving it to anyone. Hi, Dolores. Oh, let's go over to the count. Welcome to... I have to go now. The doors are locked and nobody's inside. Welcome to Quickie Pal. Can I help you find anything? Nope, that doesn't look different. Hi, Doug. What are you digging? All right, Dolores. I'm just digging stuff in the entryway. Mostly holes. But then I buries them again, all neat and tidy. Okay, Doug. You're doing a good job. Ta, Dolores! Ooh, cutting-edge computer technology. Ugh, oh, I'd love to talk to him, but I'm too shy. What with him being famous and all. Ooh, cutting-edge computer technology. It's a, char it's a character from the upcoming adventure game called Robot Island.
It's a promotional bank flyer. Hello, Safely First Savings. Your money is in our hands. Are, are, are you coming on to me? Keep talking. <laughs> I've almost traced you. Are, are, are you coming on to me? Oh, that was easy. The key fits. I hate this town. It doesn't seem to fit that. I'm sure it has a very important use near the end of the game. It's locked and there's no handle. Pillow Factory of the Future. Established 1954. It's a Dortron 3000, and it seems to be functioning. It's a large red button. Nothing happens. This is probably filled with clues and puzzle solutions. Check in to each security box within five minutes of the last box. Factory AI is engaged. Never enter the factory unless they have been disengaged. Failing to check in at the proper times can result in factory lockdown. And the police tool will have to be reset if it's not broken. Call security. How touching, if you like kids and pets, which I don't. Not touching anything could be a crime scene. It's a map of the abandoned factory. I see another time clock back there, but this truck's in the way. It appears to be the on-off lever for this electric truck. It's now in the off position.
Oh, look, he's back. Okay, that's good. I need to find the correct time to set it to. Not leaving Dad's watch behind. I need to find the correct time to set it to. I need to find the correct time to set it to. I need to find the correct time to set it to. I was cute as a kid. I miss Dad. There's his watch in the photo. It would be nice to have this photo of my family. I'll leave it here as evidence until after we're all done. When making the rounds, be sure to check into each security box within five minutes of the last box. When the correct time is entered, the station light will turn green. I need to find the correct time to set it to. I was cute as a kid. I missed. Thank you for calling the Pillowtronics Automated Security Information Line. For today, proper start time for Station 1 is 3.30. I need to find the correct time to set it.
save, just in case they die. The doors moved a little, but stopped. They must be stuck. Oh boy, stuck doors. They're now unlocked. They're now unlocked. It opened just a little more. I think they're on locked. <laughs> it opened just a little. I think someone could squeeze through now. Ugh. I think someone could squeeze through now, but I'd better stay out here and help guard the entrance. I better stay out here and help guard the entrance. I better stay out here and help guard the entrance. Whoops! Reset! Crap! It opened! It opened a little more. Someone could squeeze. Um, someone smaller than me could squeeze through now. Reset. And a little more. I think they're unlocked. It opened a little more. I think someone could squeeze through now. I think I can squeeze through the opening now. I think I can squeeze through the opening now. Oh, you said it, Clown. This can't be. It's not possible. What have you done, Uncle Chuck? Part seven. <laughs> Those look like bouncing wings. Shut up, Ransom. Good stop.